What we're going to do today is to look at the progress of the big olives that uh, I started as a video a couple years ago. Now, these are not two-year-old olives, of course. So if you want to know what the story was, go back to the first version uh, when I took these from a large, almost in the ground material into the material. Probably wondering why it looks so weird. Well, you know, this, this bottom part here, this, 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 looks like it's making progress, but it's so wild up here. Well, there is a purpose to that. Okay, the purpose was, originally, it used to be like this. So this part is new that came off of this main. Well, what I needed was a good transition from here to here. When it used to be skinnier than that, it was just not a believable transition. So what I'm going to do is to grow a little bit longer and then I'm going to cut this top part and so the new apex will go that way. So we're looking at the transition from the older part into the new. But I needed some girth. That's why I let this grow wild like that. Other one, it's less visible, but basically I'm doing the same thing. In fact, I think this one's going to take a little bit longer because the, the line or the new apex area has not fattened up. Also, let's take a look at this area. You remember the big cut I did, right? And we have these growth around it. What you want to do is to have these growth near the big wound so this will heal a little bit better. So, you know, in these training stages, you let things grow, not for shape, but the accomplishment of a certain task. Now going back to this one here, uh, this is looking like a, a nice pad ha happening. But if I were to strip away all the foliage, there is a great big cut right here. Okay, so this may or may not be a permanent branch, but definitely I'm using all this growth so that I could get that wound inside to heal. This wound, uh, if you look very carefully, is starting to roll back or start to heal. And then uh, I did cut off some, but we're keeping a lot of the growth. And then they will repop again, and I'm just going to let it grow. So what I'm hoping that uh, you get out of this little short chapter is that a good bonsai, it takes time. You know, some people, they chop at a raw material, wire it, and then try to call it a bonsai. That's not how it's made. A good bonsai takes time. So what you got out of this is to make a good bonsai, it takes time. And to execute uh, techniques at a right time. And a lot of times, it's just a matter of letting it grow wild just so that you get that certain growth in that certain area. And other times it's letting it grow so you could uh, get rid of the wound. You know, you have to have this rapid growth with cell division so that the wound will heal better. Anyway, I'm hoping that uh, you tell your friends and that you subscribe to my channel, Master Yo. Bonsai. Okay, so I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. And hopefully you'll see these two in another couple of years.